Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial. It's to Latin Kid, and today we're going to be going over how to make StarCraft 2 maps using the StarCraft 2 map editor. Currently, the version is 1.4.2, build 20,141. Um, the reason why that's important is because later on in later versions, the layout may have changed, and there might be new options. Maybe uh, some uh, like worthless options have been removed like things like that so keep that in mind I don't want you guys rage commenting saying oh there's no more modules button and things like that alright so let's get started so first we're gonna take a look at this toolbar right up here yes it looks overwhelming I know but just stick with me we'll take a look at file you're gonna have your basic options right here like the manage pub published that would be like maps you put on to like online for people to play and this is your recent maps right here that you've been working on presses configure controls things like that um edit that's pretty self-explanatory view uh if you ever want to like fool around with these options go ahead just be careful when you when you do so I don't have any need to, so I'm probably not going to be going through that in the tutorial. Data, um, self-explanatory, but it's not as friendly as it looks. Um, like right now, I'm in the triggers module, so this data is might look different in different modules. So, like creating new things that happen in the game, like if a unit enters like a certain area, the game will like kill a unit, like. Things like that. That like, that's just a huge spectrum of what can be done with that. Um, modules button. This is very important because your modules are your map. Like you got your terrain right here. That's that self-explanatory right there. And God help you if you don't know what that means. Triggers. It's like I had just said with the unit enters the region and it dies and all that data is going to be like where you create units edit units like the like say like a zilla has 50 damage per strike you can edit upgrades make new upgrades if you wanted to things like that text um i don't feel like it's important enough to go over in the tutorial import is importing data into this into a map that you're working on window there's a, a, a like a bunch of options that you can use with this like a console for skilled map editors you can use this console to do things I'm not that skilled as to use the console messages if you ever get any messages from Starcraft like unable to load image from uh, this file it'll pop up there usually it's not like devastating messages it's usually just little warnings uh, File transfer is explanatory. Script test, that's going to be your triggers. Uh, for now, it's not important. Lighting, explanatory, but complicated. Previewer, if I'm, if I'm right, that's for models and all that. So, like, let's view a Zelnaga tower. There you go. And that's what that does all right so first thing is we're gonna go to file I'm sorry first let me switch over to the terrain terrain my bad you're gonna click on file new you're gonna select map and you can change your dependencies your dependencies determine what data is gonna come out from actual Starcraft files so say you want to use units from the campaign that aren't in the regular standard multiplayer character like unit set you can go ahead add liberty campaign liberty story but for now we're not going to worry about that width of the map and then height of the map is very self-explanatory um base height you can drop that down to five you never want to do random height because it's just going to create a whole bunch of mess. Like, if you ever just want to see what it is, just click it and just make a new map. Texture set. 
it's gonna be different grounds for you to work on some grounds are unbuildable so let me look for one that's unbuildable well there's some that you can't build on and I'm trying to find one but you know what just for the sake of the tutorial we're not gonna worry about that so agria dirt and that's just what we're gonna do so we're gonna click OK gonna wait and there now yours doesn't look like this yours looks like like without the grid so I personally like the grid because hold on I need to figure this out real quick because it's it's good for placement so that you can know where your buildings and where your units are gonna go alright so this yellow dotted line is where your camera can go so your camera can't pass this line this yellow line which is kinda of blending in with the green line and the red right over here <coughs> is unbuildable because it is outside of the map no units can pass this right here they can't so that yeah it's pretty much self-explanatory when you're in terrain editing mode I suggest going to view looking down view entire map and just zoom in a little bit to whatever you need alright so say you want to make a zergling at the top of this map right here you're gonna click on this button right here where it shows a picture of a zergling that's gonna take you to your units it's gonna load the palette what you're gonna do is you're gonna select player one right here you can go to melee zerg and we're gonna choose unit just so it narrows it down let's look for the zergling it's gonna be right here we're gonna click it and we're gonna just place it on the map so right here I'm going to save it <clears throat> and I'm going to press this button right here which is gonna that like directly open up Starcraft and open the document so here's gonna be just the regular loading screen Well, I have a triggers debugging window right here. It's not that important. And as you have noticed, it says tied. Why? Why does that happen? We will go over that later when we're working on triggers. So, here's what I'm talking about. The camera can't go past this area right here. Fairly simple. You can have control over your Zergling. Let's go over now. Here's what I mean by the the red right over here. The, the unit cannot go into this red area because that it's just like blocking it. So you can try all you want, but it's just gonna stay along that edge. And when you're creating units and say you you do something wrong you did you didn't want to place an extra unit all like right here you didn't want to place a unit right there while you have a unit like while you have the zergling selected you're gonna press space and it's gonna open up the selection thing not open up but you're gonna be able to select a unit and as you can see this this little zergling selected and you can just press delete and select a group Move them around. Delete. You can do that. And to get back to adding units, you just press a space bar and that's it. Alright, so why did we get that tied screen? Simply to answer that, we're going to look at this second. No, that's going to be the f about the fifth set of buttons. You're going to look for the one with gears. 
on it and that's going to be triggers it's going to be a triggers module so you can just press f6 or you could go to modules then select triggers or you can just press this button and right away you should notice this trigger right here melee initialization what that is is when you're creating a mail when you're creating a map this is the first trigger that's made it's automatically made it's in like blizzard maps it's in any map that uses standard melee like where you have to base race people and you got ultralisks and zerglings and infested terrans and things like that like noob stuff like cheese um <laughs> back on topic so melee initialization the, this what this means is the second the game starts all this stuff goes into play so let's take a look at this name of it self-explanatory name is here it's gonna change there so events you're gonna notice this right here and you're gonna notice game map initialization under it what that means is it actually describes it to you right here this event fires when a map starts running so as soon as you're done loading the map this is what happens then events since that is an event it has to have an action so it's gonna do all of this stuff set melee starting resources for all players five I mean sorry 50 minerals that you start off with create melee starting units for all players you got your nexus and your probes uh, start the melee AI for all computer players that's when you're going to cause computers set default melee options for all players that's self-explanatory like it enables the victory and defeat and reveal for all players thing, things like that and you're trying to make a map that doesn't include any of this what you can do you can select it right here delete save it test it out no tide dialogue and you still do whatever but as you may have noticed you don't have any minerals you surely as hell don't have any supplies so that's pretty much it let me check the time real quick going on 12 minutes uh, that's going to be it for this tutorial thank you for watching uh, look out for some more tutorials as they will be awesome thank you and goodbye